In today's video, I'll be showing you how to manually delete old AMD drivers that have been stored on your Windows computer, hogging up disk space. So every time you install a new AMD driver, basically it extracts the files into a location on your C drive, and then once it's finished installing that driver to your computer, it doesn't go back and clean up the files that is stored in that location. Luckily, we can easily delete these files either manually or you can use AMD's program to do this which I will pop a link in the description below to a video that I've done using that program. So the first thing that you need to do is open up File Explorer. Once you have File Explorer open you then need to select this PC and open up your C drive. You then need to open up the AMD folder and you will then see a massive list of different drivers within this folder. So depending on how long you've been installing AMD drivers on your computer will depend on how many folders you have in this folder. So as you can see, I don't actually have many old drivers in here. So you now have a choice. You can either select all the folders within this location and delete absolutely everything. But if you all of a sudden lost internet connection and you needed to install an older driver, then you would not be able to install it from this folder because you would have deleted the driver. And then you wouldn't be able to access the internet because you lost connection. So I would recommend that you do leave at least one or two previous drivers within this folder just in case you needed to roll back. So you can now just simply, like I said, go through and delete any one of the drivers that you no longer want to have in this folder as a backup. I'm happy to actually remove all these drivers here. So I'm going to right click and just go delete and then it's going to delete them and send them to my recycle bin. And then all I need to do is just simply empty my recycle bin. So that's how you manually delete AMD's old drivers that get stored on your Windows computer. I hope this video helped you out and you enjoyed it. If you did like the video, click the like button below. And if you'd like to see more computer sluggish videos, then click that subscribe button. If you do subscribe, then I will see you in the next video.